Where's my eyes? Tell the pussy on the step side. For a young cock from the west side. Well, you better step right. Get quiff in the head, the right at chest side. Welcome back to another video. Yeah, can't lie, I'm in a good mood today. I'm feeling spectacular. Yeah, feeling spectacular today. Yeah, it's currently 6:57 p.m. I'm here in Tonglo, Bangkok. It is a Wednesday, and your boy has been doing some property researching because I'm trying to get my own place. I'm trying to get my own condo. My boy, large up my boy, man. He's allowed me to stay in his home, in his two bed AP. I'm at his condo right now. I've been here ever since I've been in Bangkok, really. And this is the, this is the gem. The gem of today, the first gem of today is, yeah, network is so important because just because I knew someone here and he can vouch for me, he allowed me to stay in his place, which just relieved a lot of stress for me. So I'm so grateful to my boy. You know who you are. You're a G, man. Kaka Mike Ha. He's a G. But, I want to find my own space. I want to find my own spot. So I'm now going to view my first ever condo out here in Bangkok. Um, and I'm going to take you guys with me. The price is probably already going to be in the description. So let's see what we can get for this price. Because as you can see, it is not a lot of money. But out here, your money's stretched. Do you know what I mean? So I'm really excited, man. I'm about to hop on a grab bike. It should take about 20 minutes to get there. So let's go. Guys, whilst we are waiting for our grab driver, he's about two minutes away. Let's just go see what the outside is looking like. Let's go through the view, man. I feel like I have been in the house all day in this apartment, currently building this course for you guys. Wow, man. Currently building this course for you guys to teach you step-by-step -step A to Z, how to use your job to leverage your skills in corporate, build skills that you can make money from online to become a digital nomad and literally rinse and repeat the exact same process that I have taken myself. Imagine this as well, guys, yeah? So when I went to Patio, so remember that Kolan vlog I did the other week? Shit, the guy's coming. The Kolan vlog that you guys saw me do the other week, I was waiting for ages. I was waiting, go watch that video again, but I was waiting for like two hours before my actual minivan came. Long story short, these three French people came up to me and was just asking me, hey, is this the same minivan? And up being that we was getting on the same one and then I just started talking to them because obviously the journey was long started networking with them they're out here on an internship then I started becoming friends with them got a picture with them connected with them on IG they live here in Bangkok as well so later today I'm gonna link up with them and we're going to a bar together so that's what I'm saying about networking man I'm quite an extroverted person so it's not that difficult for me to you know pick up conversation with people um, pick a conversation with people and just start networking but that just goes to show that you never know what can happen off the back of one conversation because without me talking to them I wouldn't have known that they actually live here um, and they're really cool people man and I don't really have any French friends um, but they're cool so shout out to them big up Chen setter man I had to bring my Chen setter drip all the way here to Thailand you already know I'm staying fly with it man flash it on yeah guys let's go Father God guide me cause they always tryna take mine Govern everything when my God I'm the know but I can never left mine Tell a pussy in the step side For a real young thug from the west side Boy you better step right Get quiff and your head or your chest side You know me I forget mine Father God guide me cause they always tryna take mine Govern everything when my God I'm the know but I can never left mine Here guys, with my boy Oli. Come on man, big up him. He's the one who's gonna be giving me a tour around this whole strip today. So we are at, what's it called? TC Green Condominium. TC Green Condominium. TC Green Condominium. So it's like four big buildings, four massive like condo blocks. Um, so what was you saying? There's a basketball court here. Yeah, yeah, there's a basketball court, but I'm just taking you to 7-Eleven real quick. Yeah, yeah. That's essential. That is essential. That's yeah, Thailand 101 right there, bro. One of these in every block. Yeah, 7-Eleven's like the Nisa back in there, or London, you know? Yeah, yeah. Bro, there's a London city, yeah, that's like the main, bro. Bro, this guy, Oli, he's from my area. I didn't even know him before I came out here. 
we've got a mutual friend which is Harry, big up my boy Harry and it turns out he's literally from my area which is crazy I'm not gonna pay it out if you know you know but he's from the ends man so I rate him even more still but yeah G alright so we've got 7-11 they wash it up I swear yeah. in the condos do they have washing machines or not really? I mean like mine's got one right but not everyone guarantees it I don't yeah, know if yeah. this one has it yeah but like, yeah, there's that one right there, so yeah, 7 Eleven right here, that's a tick for me, that's a good sign. Yeah, 7 Eleven will save you, bro, trust me. Oh, bro, trust me, I've been living on that, like, it's kind of bad, I should yeah. be avoiding it, right? Nah, I hear it, bro. I've just been doing grab mainly, and then, like, I pick up some 7 Eleven if I miss something, yeah, bro. Grab is kind of like living in Thailand, just so calm. Like, between Grab and 7 Eleven, you're good for most things, bro. Like, yeah. food and beverage wise. And you yeah, pay electricity calm. and 7, bro, everything's sorted. That's calm. What can so let's talk about the paying for the apartment and stuff now, yeah? Oh, yeah, boss, of course, uh, you check that out. Yeah, let's check that out, bro. Yeah, so, when it comes to paying, like, what do you do if you don't have a Thai bank account? Can you pay in cash? Like, how does that work? So, like, you can use your normal card, right? But okay. it's got to be a 200 bar minimum. That's like four quid, I think. No, no, I'm talking about like paying your monthly rent and shit. Oh, oh, yeah. How does that no, work? You can just transfer it in with the wise bank account, innit? You know, oh, you yeah, yeah. Got wise. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me set. Oh, that's calm. Yeah. Cool. So, another tip for you guys out here if you are thinking of relocating to Thailand, get yourself a wise bank account. So, like. And a card, too. You need that card. Yeah, too. yeah. And what, the physical card, yeah? Yeah, it's so much more helpful, bro. I haven't got mine. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it makes these pull outs to like ATM so much cheaper. So, like, what? So, when yeah. you go to an ATM, it normally charges you, right? Yeah, bro, it's like 220 baht minimum. It's like four or five pounds. Yeah, wow. everything you take out. But what about wires? With the wires, is it still the same? Like, well, I think I haven't really done it because yeah. I haven't got the card in it. Oh, but yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm guessing if you've got bar in it, you haven't yeah. got to convert it, so it just comes out. Okay, that's yeah. smart still. So they got a basketball court here, my bad. Do you play basketball? I mean, I play it occasionally, but I'm not a banger. Usually, you know? no, I do here, it's just like a time to time thing. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. mind coming here, you know, just chilling out. Sure. That's cool, man. That's a bonus, I'll be real. So far, so good, man. Can't lie. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Alright, so I'll just show you this part first. This is kind of important. Yeah, yeah. So, like, with all of these, this is the mail room. Like, this is the mail room. So, like, your electricity bill, Wi Fi bill will be coming in here, innit? Yeah. And then you just come collect it every month, so then you just go pay it at seven or something. So, you what? You can pay both electricity and um, what's that other thing you said? Oh, electricity, like, uh, you can pay at seven, but Wi Fi, I think it's online. It's okay. Like, but that's still like done by normal bank account, like wires or something. Yeah, anything like these or what can't work basically. Oh, bro. That's chill. Yeah. No, this is looking calm so far, man. So for me, I just want to have my own spot where I can just have somewhere to base myself for a few months whilst I'm yeah. setting myself up, you know what I mean? Makes sense, makes sense. Like, obviously, I've been here for what, two weeks now? Mm -hmm. um, first, when I came here for about the first three days, I was chilling at Harry's. Yeah. Then I went down to Patio. I was there for like a week, and then I'm obviously back at Harry's. Yeah. And like, I'm I'm blessed because obviously Harry's a blessed guy, innit? So he's yeah. allowed me to just crash in the sofa. But you're always gonna want your own space. Do you know what I mean? I don't like yeah. feeling like I'm intruding on someone else's space. So yeah. Even though I've got the opportunity to crash there, and I know you'd be cool with it, mm. I just want to have my own space where I can drop my suitcase and just like proper chill out, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Because it's definitely yeah. not your home until like you know you have yeah, somewhere to actually be at home. Yeah. That's it, bro. So have you stayed here since you first came? So like what I did was I got a studio here yeah. on a monthly rent. Yeah. And then that was like 10k bar, right? Yeah. That's cheap. Three bro. month minimum. Yeah, bro. That's like what? Like two bills? Like, what? Yeah, bro. It's like shit. 230, 40 or some shit. Oh. Yeah. And then there's a gym in these condos on the fifth floor. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, guys, so far, so good. I can't complain, man. A decent spot. So we're now here at the condo, guys. The big reveal. Don't disappoint me, my bro. We're on the 31st floor. Oh, shit. A few moments later. Yeah. Yeah, this is decent, you know. Nice little couch. Where I can crash. Yeah, bro, it's got your basics. I'm not gonna lie. When you first moved in here, or not to this one, but when you first moved into your apartment, what were the things that were like important to you? So that was what was like a non-negotiable. I think the non-negotiable right was just having. Like works out, bro. I actually got some point, yeah, where I needed a desk, I needed that seat. Yeah. I needed just somewhere I could set over. So I yeah. actually had to get a shelf. I just used that as my desk. Yeah. I hear that. Yeah, yeah. But like, I think that is literally it. Because once you got that
Like, that's it, that's the essential. That's all you need. This Wi Fi headphones or a speaker, you're good to go, right? Yeah, you're just putting that work. Like, you're professional. Yeah, like, yeah, no, this is so far, can't lie. Mm. Like, it's just me in it, so. Yeah, for real. Let me bring, let me bring you guys with me. But so far, calm. Nice little bathroom setup. Bish bash bosh, does the job. You know what I mean? This is where we're here. In the mirror, be getting cute. Shower's decent. Me, I'm a simple guy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, this has all the basics that I need. Would you say that you're like a low maintenance kind of guy, or do you need like a massive like? Do you need a lot to be cool? Does that make sense? Nah, bro. Honestly, I'm such a low maintenance guy. I, so, like, I think that's most guys, bro. I'll be yeah, real. It's always got a bed, so it's always work. Yeah. Roof, literally nah, literally, bro. This place is calm. So this is like what forty square meters. Yeah. Decent size bed. Ah. Like what, what floor are you on? So this is 31st. Yeah, this is 31st. My floor is on the 17th, bro. 17th. Damn, yeah. bro. I mean, it was like, I could have, I think I could have moved in this one. Yeah. Well, that spot, right? It's 21K and I've yeah. got a two bed. So, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah it's calm. a bit better. But then I've realized, yeah, since I'm actually living here now, I don't use my living room. Yeah. Like, I'm actually in my office all the time. So, yeah, like, yeah, the living yeah. room, yeah, it's actually smaller than this one because yeah. it's not only a living room, isn't it? Yeah. So, like, in reality, if actually you are, I might have actually just made this into my setup. You think? Like, then it's a bigger room than actual my office right now. You know? Yeah, because this is how I'm trying to think. Like, for me, I need like a, like you, bro, same setup. A little office space to do work, mm. which can be this, really and truly. Is there yeah. a socket here? If not mine, probably not. Not the end of the world. Or I can do yeah, one right there. On the... Extension cord, you're good. That's all you need. Obviously, got my room there. Hook up my shit here when I want to just chill out. Mm. Bro, this is a decent spot, bro. Like, I'm... I'm easy, do you know what I mean? Nah, yeah, for sure, man. It's, like, definitely, like, a pretty decent spot. And, like, all these lights here, yeah. but all of those gaps, they're supposed to be filled with, like, a long light. So it yeah. is good lighting, but they'll fix that before, you know. You, I move. Yeah, yeah. Let's see the balcony, man. I think you got to slide that little thing down. Bro. Oh, shit. Save. Nah, this is all right. Decent sized balcony. Yeah, bro. Decent sized balcony. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, views peak. This will be sick getting on like a TikTok live from here, bro. Like, look at that fucking view. Yeah, wow, fucking cool. out. Yeah, man. How many floors are there here? You I know. Think in this one right here, there's like 33, but. Yeah. If you look, we're literally on the top actual floor. Yeah. Like 33 is just a basement floor, so it's basically top floor. Oh. Yeah. And this is 17k. Oh wait, yeah, this one's 31, top floor's 32. Oh. But yeah, this one's 17. Yeah. That's what they're quoting, 17, which is like what, under 400 pound? Yeah, it's like 3. 380. Like 380. Yeah. So for free, let me know, guys, in the comments for 380 pounds. Per month, 380 great British pounds. Could you see yourself living here? Because I'm not even gonna tell you guys how much this would cost in my area, but it's defo a lot more than 380 your ass clock pounds, I'll tell you that much. Um, but Naji, I think for one person, let's look here. Bro, for me and me only, like, this is cool. Yeah? Yeah, G. Cause like, yeah, I think this is actually, yeah, if you saw my style, you'd think this actually at that base. You think? So, bro, yeah. Because, like, all I want to do is just see that and realize what I'm talking about. I'm like, just making a big Yeah. But, guys, just left now. Um, this spot's all right, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Ollie showed it to me, and I'm actually kind of happy for £380 a month. I don't really think it's that bad. It's not the end of the world probably be here for the next three to six months hopefully so I think I've got my little spot just to kind of sort me out man obviously in life you have to make sacrifices so one of the things I'm sacrificing is it doesn't actually have a washing machine but I've been speaking to my boy and he says that there's literally like a laundromat basically right outside so is it really the end of the world um I don't think so man so far if I'm being honest I'm actually kind of happy like coming out here my main goal is to kind of save um, and just have as much of an affordable lifestyle as possible. Um, my rent beforehand in the UK was like one and a half times this now, so it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, so food trucks up a lot over here. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh wait, they're here. 
You see it right there? Oh yeah. That's like some food truck you can find food truck. Perfect bro. Yeah. So that's dinner basically. Yeah, you can get that one up there. Yeah guys, so we're just checking out the kind of amenities and shit, view of the motorway. It's not too bad guys man, I feel like for me starting out, just moved here, I just need a place to rest my head that's decent, safe, secure and I can just you know relax for a little bit man as I start to lock in and get on with other stuff so you have to make sacrifices. That's what me and my boy, me and my boy Oli were just talking about now that like it might not be the most fanciest place but for the next six months it's good for me to just lock in and do what I need to do. You know what I mean? With that in mind, it's alright. Got a little gym over there. Gyms, it's just basic, do you know what I mean? But I'll probably get myself a little gym membership. So far, I'm happy, man, honestly. I'm happy. Hey, bro, you see over there? Yeah. That's a great film that nobody uses, but it's a restaurant. Like, you can just sit there. Swear down, I lock yeah, it. It's a hotel, so it's not actually a restaurant. Yeah. Actually, it's just a great film. You can just go up and chill up there. That's yeah. fucking hard, bro. Yeah. This is calm. Bro, this is real. I swear down, I would go for a swim here. Decent pool. I'd probably go swimming every day. Yeah, I might just come over and swim in. This yeah, bro, just swim, go for a swim. Little sauna, not sauna. This is probably a jacuzzi or a baby pool. You know, I'm a big man, so we don't really need to be up in here. But I can't lie, for the price, 17,000 baht, I'm cool with it, man. Like I said, you gotta make sacrifices and compromise. So I'm very happy with this, man. Do a little two two laps. A few moments later. Yo, guys. Back at my boy's place now. Just went for food with the French people I told you I met up with. Artus, Fanny. They're cool people, man. Proper nice. Yeah, like I was saying, just met up with the French people I originally met on the minivan. Kind of tired now, man. There was a whole group of them. And it was nice chilling with them, I'm not gonna lie, like meeting new people. I wouldn't even say that was networking. It was just more mingling, you know what I'm saying? But I had to leave, because I'm tired. That's a night, probably gonna edit this video right now. Regarding the property, I know I was talking a bagger earlier on in the video, like, yeah, this is gonna be the one I'm gonna stay here. I think I was a bit convincing myself that this should be the place, and I um, think I'm being a bit too um, impulsive. I'm naturally quite an impulsive person anyways, but like, this is still a decision, do you know what I mean? The same way when I'm in the UK and I'm getting a property, it's not the first property I see I should now sign contract for, you know what I mean? Like, you have to still assess and just keep your head on a swivel, you know what I mean? That's how you don't get swindled, mate. You know what I'm saying? But we're learning. Everything in life is a learning curve. And my good friend, Oli, he did say that he has um, a lot more properties and condos that are available. So over the next few days, I'm probably gonna do some more viewings anyways. But that one, I'm probably not gonna go forward with. But again, it's experience. I just went to go look at it, it did look nice, help me kind of get my bearings and see what I would want and what I wouldn't want. I think I want a two bed, I would like to use one of the rooms as an office, so yeah man, well, that's the day done really. Now we're, oh shit, back to the crew, back to the crew. But yeah man, as always, let me know in the comments what other type of videos you want to see from me. I'm trying to be on my content grind, help a brother out. See you in the next video.